delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. Advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Depth and TV. Tarana! Good day, senior high students! How have you been? Time really flies so fast and now we are almost halfway of our second quarter. How was your experience in answering your modules? Are you alright? I hope you are, and I wish that today's episode will guide you in your journey toward discovering new things and significant ones. Keep it up as Lantau Compre! The television-based instruction of DepEd, Division of Tagum City, will bring you the Housekeeping Alternative Delivery Mode module about items in laundry service for the week 5 of quarter 2. I am your teacher, Alan M. Basco Jr. from Tagum City National Comprehensive High School. And today, let's keep that open and positive mind for more opportunities to come and greater chances of learning to take place. Are you excited to find out more of today's lesson? I think you are. So, let's get it started. For this episode, you are expected to identify and explain the types of linen used in housekeeping. Give the types and usage of laundering materials. Identify and discuss the types and usage of laundry chemicals and other cleaning agents. Before we head on, Prepare your pen, paper, and module, and then try to read and answer the pretest in page 2 of your self-learning module. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the letter of your answer on your paper. Question number 1. What are the types of linen used in housekeeping? Letter A. Cotton and silk. Letter B, wool and cotton. Letter C, cotton, silk, wool, and synthetic. Or letter D, all of the above. And the correct answer is letter D. Question number two. A machine that is used in washing guest clothes and linen. Letter A, washing machine. Letter B, flat iron. Letter C, Presser or letter D, none of this. And the correct answer is letter A. Question number three. A machine that is used for drying guest clothes and linen. Letter A, tumble dryer. Letter B, spinner. Letter C, iron. Or letter D, washing machine. And the correct answer is letter A. Question number 4. Linen use in hotels is often referred to as letter A. Flatware Letter B. Flatwork Letter C. Flat iron 
or letter D, flat work ironer. And the correct answer is letter A. Question number 5. It is considered as the most popular fabric for linen. Letter A, cotton. Letter B, silk. Letter C, wool. Or letter D, synthetic. And the correct answer is letter A. Great job, senior high learners! Now, let me ask you, did you do your own laundry? Well, in your own home, probably yes, right? But do you have an idea who is responsible in doing the laundry in a hotel? Certainly, there are right people who do the right services in every area and that is what you are going to learn today. Let us define first what is linen and laundry section. Linen and laundry section is responsible for the processing of all requests for laundry service, including guest laundry, employees' uniform, and linen use for banquet functions. On the other hand, the laundry section is usually managed by a laundry manager or a supervisor and is manned with the following personnel. Valet runner pick ups and delivers guest laundry. Sorter or marker sorts, classifies, and labels laundry items. Washer is responsible for washing and drying guest laundry items and linen. Flat ironer Thus, the ironing of linen used by the food and beverage and housekeeping department. Steam presser performs steam pressing of delicate materials like wool. Dry cleaner, spotter, dry cleans and dust spot removal. Linen attendant, does the recording, storage and issuance of linen. Seamstress, does mending of guest laundry or employee's uniform. In big hotels with voluminous laundry job to be done, there is a rigid division of labor with one laundry staff concentrating on one task. One is assigned to do washing, another one for dry cleaning, one for steam pressing, etc. However, in the small establishment with limited laundry job to attend to, it is not practical to have too many laundry staff. The job of valet runner which is to pick up and deliver guest laundry can be done by the room boy or chambermaid. Steam pressing and ironing can be delegated to just one person. If there are limited items for washing, only one washer may be needed to handle both guest laundry and items for house use. If the lodging establishment does not have sufficient laundry facilities, the laundry service is sometimes contracted to a commercial laundry. But what is a laundry? Laundry is the washing of clothing and linens. Laundry processes are often done in a business, room or area in a home, or apartment building. This is referred to as laundry room. The material that is being washed 
or has been laundered is also generally referred to as laundry. In doing the laundry, of course it needs some of necessary materials to do so. But let us identify first what are the different types of fabric and laundry equipment in order for you to know how to do them properly and to keep them away from being damaged. And these are the following. Aba, camel or goat hair fabric. Aerofane, thin crinkled semi-transparent fabric. Alfine mix, wool and silk or moo hair and cotton fabric. Alpaca, fine wool made from alpaca hair. Angora, silk-like fabric made from wool of angora goats. Ardas, fine silk. Armure, twilled woolen or silk fabric. Aracin, embroidery fabric of wool and silk. Atlas, rich satin fabric. Baft, cheap coarse cotton fabric. Bagging, coarse fabric for making bags or sacks. Base, coarse nap cotton or wool fabric. Balbrigan, knitted cotton fabric. Baldachin, rich embroidered silk and gold fabric. Balzarin, like cotton dress materials. Baratheia, pebbly silk or worsted fabric with broken rib weave. Barige, gossip fabric of silk, cotton, wool, or worsted. For the rest of the items, you can read your modules from page 5 to 15 and be familiar of the types of fabric and other laundry equipment. This time, let us proceed to the types of laundering. There are three types of laundering. First is the hand wash. It is a type of laundering using your bare hands in cleaning the linen. Second is the machine wash. It is a type of laundering using a washing machine. And lastly, the third one, the dry cleaning. It is a type of cleaning a garment with an organic solvent without using water. In laundering using the machine, one must be acquainted first and foremost on what machine should be used and how to operate them. There are different types of washing machines and dryers used in housekeeping. The types of machines and equipment vary on the size of laundry premises of the industry. These are the following types and its usage. First is washing machine. It varies in size and it can wash up to 5 kilograms and 200 kilograms of soiled linen. The machine's job is to wash the linen and extract most of the residual water content through the last cycle. Second is continuous batch washer. It is used in a large volume of washing like in a 5-star hotel. The machine looks like a tunnel and it is controlled through computer program. Third is tumble dryer. It is used to dry towels and that can wash up to 5 kilograms to 80 kilograms. It is not enough to simply know the types of machines. Laundering will not be possible without the most basic tools, which are the laundering chemicals and cleaning agent. The preference of laundry chemical is a very important factor in doing laundry jobs. When correct chemicals are used, this will affect efficiently and properly to the items. Otherwise, rewashing or damage of items and complaints from guests will arise. I do believe that you are all familiar with these common laundry chemicals and cleaning agents that can easily be found not just in the hotels but even in our respective homes. First, we have water. It is a good cleaner but the chemicals that are added to it penetrate to the soiled items. It considered as an excellent rinse aid. Water has alkali that is used to neutralize the soils in linen prior to the main washing processes. Second is detergent. 
It is used to wash the linen, allowing water to penetrate the soil and hold it in suspension before rinsing. It has high tolerance to hard water and can stay efficiently at all temperature. Third is the fabric softener. It is used to soften towels and reduce lint. It helps in the ease of the ironing of the sheets. Fourth, we have starch. It is used to present a crisp and fresh appearance. It is added to the final rinse in washing of cotton table linen and chef's jackets. It lays down a protective barrier on the fabric to help prevent stain absorption. Fifth is the sour or acids. It can be added in the final rinse to neutralize residual alkalis that are not removed. White linen can turn yellow or gray. It also contains optical brighteners. It is necessary to be aware of the basic cleaning tools, especially in the housekeeping industry. But one must also keep in mind the usage of these chemicals and agents, how to use and when to use them. I know that they may appear to be a lot, but I hope you will remember them, particularly these things. Talcum powder. Use this to blot out grease or oil as soon as it's peeled. A blunt knife. This is useful for scraping of matters such as jam or egg. Clean white cloth. Keep this at hand to soak up spills or to apply cleaner. A small, natural sea sponge, cotton wool absorbent cotton, and white paper towels will also be very useful. Detergents. Spray pre-wash liquid, a detergent soap bar, and liquid biological detergents are all good stain removers. Methylated spirits or denatured alcohol. Helpful for removing grass stain or color fast fabrics. Glycerin. This should be diluted with an equal amount of water to soften dried in stains. Leave it for about an hour before washing the garments. Acetone or nail polish remover. Good for dealing with varnish stains but do not use in acetate fabrics. Hydrogen peroxide. Test fabrics for color fastness before using. Buy 20 volume strength and mix one part to nine parts of water for soaking dried in stains before washing. Dry cleaning fluid or white spirit paint thinner. Pre-test fabrics for color fastness and use neat, dab on grease, or fresh paint stains, not to be used in acetates. White wine vinegar. Vinegar helps to neutralize odors as well as removing pet stains and perspiration marks on garments. Borax. This is a mild alkali and will work to neutralize acid stains such as wine, fruit juice, and coffee. The key factor in removing stains is speed. Quickly blot up the excess with a clean cloth or tissues. Soaking or a pre-wash treatment before washing will dissolve many stains, but some need special treatment. Lastly, there are two types of bleaches. We have chlorine bleach and oxygen bleach. Chlorine bleach is used to deodorize. It accelerates the action of detergents, kill germs, and generally cleans. It is not suitable for colored clothes, silk, wool, mohair, leather, or lycra. It should be never be poured directly on the clothes. Second is oxygen bleach. It's color safe and although it brightens colors and keeps whites whiter, it is unlikely to make gray nylon whiter. It can be used on colored fabrics and unbleachable whites such as silk and wool. Did you understand our lessons? I just really hope so. This time, 
I want you to prepare your paper and pen for a short activity. Try to categorize the following if they belong to laundry tools or laundry chemicals. Number one, water. Is it a laundry tool or a laundry chemical? The correct answer is a laundry chemical. Number two, washing machine. Is it laundry tool or a laundry chemical? The correct answer is a laundry tool. Number three, bleach. Is a laundry tool or a laundry chemical? The correct answer is laundry chemical. Number four, detergent. Is it laundry tool or a laundry chemical? The correct answer is a laundry chemical. Number five, dryer or spinner. Is a laundry tool or a laundry chemical? The correct answer is a laundry tool. Well done, senior high students! As a summary of today's episode, I hope you will remember these important points for this lesson. First, it is important to try and establish what each stage is and treat it accordingly. Second, garments must be dried before being placed in the dry cleaning machines. This is done by application of air through steam gun. Third, when using any machine in the laundry, you must always follow the manufacturer's instructions. Follow safety precautions and never use a machine you have not been trained to use. And that concludes of today's episode of Lantao Compre TV School on Air. See you all in our next session. Once again, this is your teacher, Alan M. Basco Jr., saying that in every place, nothing inspires cleanliness more than an unexpected guest. And it really matters that we make it as a practice to keep everything tidy and clean even in our own place because our safety depends on it.